heroes all from our area work together during an emergency thousands of feet in the air to save an Auburn woman's life. All of them were on a plane to Hawaii last month when this happened. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. Eric Harriman is off tonight. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan joins us now in studio with more on what happened and how that woman is doing, Kristen. Well, Nikki, 30,000 feet in the air over the Pacific Ocean, two hours from the nearest hospital. A vascular surgeon, anesthesiologist, paramedic, and ER nurse happened to be at the right place at the right time. Thank you. Yep. I'm very emotional. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Last time these first responders saw 69-year-old Auburn resident Karen Allen. They were 30,000 feet over the Pacific Ocean each one separately on their way to Hawaii last month. And I was headed to the Big Island to uh, meet a girlfriend over there. So we were gonna do a week there. So she got my room <laughs> and I got the hospital. Ellen's trip took an unexpected turn for the worst. Halfway through the flight, she started to feel nauseous. So I felt tight like this. So then I thought, oh, I need to go for a walk. So I went to the restroom and it was full. So I just sat uh, on the armrest and then I was out and on the floor. Five rows back, Kaiser Permanente Roseville vascular surgeon, Dr. Aaron Baker and his nurse wife sat with their kids. She's the one who, you know, tapped me out of my stupor watching a movie with my son to, hey, something's going on. She was on the floor um, and completely lifeless. And that's when the flight attendant and I pulled her to essentially a flat position inside the aisle uh, and made a quick assessment and started CPR. And 20 rows or so forward, Captain Dan Nelson with the El Dorado Hills Fire Department heard a Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant ask over the speaker if any doctors or nurses could make themselves known. And I turned around and the flight attendant was running up the aisle. I raised my hand and said, I'm a paramedic, can I help? So did an ER nurse from South Lake Tahoe. And in the same row that Allen was initially seated in, sat a Roseville anesthesiologist, Dr. Brandon Winchester, with his wife. He took off his AirPods and sprang into action with all of them. And they just put their whole heart and soul into helping someone that, you know, they've never met before. Dr. Baker says Allen had an ST elevation myocardial infarction and a blockage in an artery known as the Widowmaker. That nickname, Dr. Baker says, comes from its low chance of survival. Someone even at the hospital undergoing CPR has, you know, sometimes under a 5% chance of surviving even that event. So the fact that we were doing CPR for someone at 30,000 feet, two hours from the nearest hospital, and that we were able to get her through it was quite remarkable. A remarkable moment yeah. reminding these four health professionals why they got into the medical field in the first place. So Karen's case is, is, is truly uh, the, the closest thing to a miracle that I've experienced in my 20 year medical career. And Alan says she cannot thank her heroes enough and she actually hopes to head back to Hawaii in April. Nikki.